A student measure the distance traversed in free fall of a body initially at rest in a given time. So it is given that motion is a free fall motion, right? So it is a free fall and initial velocity is zero. He uses this data to estimate g, the acceleration due to gravity. If the maximum percentage error in measurement of distance and the time r e1 and e2 respectively the percentage error in g is so uh, percentage error in g can be written as delta g by g into 100 it is asked delta distance by delta h by h into 100 is given as e1 and delta t by t into 100 is given as e2 so we know that the formula which relate all these quantity can be written as es is equal to ut plus half at square right where s is a distance so h is equal to 0 plus 1 by 2 g t square so we can write g is equal to 2h divided by t square so from this we can use the formula of error for division delta g by g into 100 that is percentage error in g is equal to percentage error in h plus 2 times of percentage error in time right so delta h by h into 100 is e1 delta t by t into 100 is e2 so e1 plus 2 e2 e1 plus 2 e2 means option a option a is a correct one right